Okay guys, so we're gonna begin today's class on to our backs. So bring your knees wide, soles of the feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana. So start to ground yourself in to the present moment. And when I say that, what I mean is quite literally allowing your body to start to feel heavy against the mat. So close down the eyes and allow the head to feel heavy against the earth. Start to feel your shoulder blades resting, mapping out the area where your body is touching the mat. Feel the arms 5% heavier. You can gently rock the hips side to side. And then find stillness and feel the entire structure of the pelvis weighted and heavy. The femur heads relax. Relax the inner thighs. Relaxing down the shins and the feet. Now without altering or changing your breath too much, just Start to bring in more of a seamless inhalation and exhalation. As we inhale through the nose, our lower belly expands. The ribs part, the lungs. And as we exhale, we can feel this breath just gently falling out. The release, the let go. As we inhale, energizing breath, more yang breath. Feeling expansive and as we exhale, we feel this softening release, let go. Two more times, really softening behind the eyes, the inner ear, and start to shift your awareness out of the head and more into the physical sensations of your body. So becoming more connected with the movement rather than the thoughts behind it. And then inviting gentle movement, you can wiggle the fingers and the toes. And gently part the feet, so you might need to adjust your pelvis a bit. So we're still gonna be in Supta Baddha Konasana, so thighs wide and um, soles of the feet together, but there's gonna be about a half a foot gap. And we're gonna start to fire up the inner, inner thighs, so engage them without moving them, just feel what that feels like. So maybe pressing the outer edges of the feet into the mat. This is going to help ground the low back into the mat. And then we're going to slowly start to draw the knees towards each other. And then gently, slow and controlled, we're going to allow them to release back down. Slowly closing together. And slow and controlled release them. So I want you to pretend that you have uh, weights so that you're slowly, slowly, slowly engaging as you close the legs. And then you're still engaged as you bring the knees towards the floor. We're gonna do this three more times, connecting breath with movement now. So as you inhale, closing the legs. Actually, we're gonna reverse that, I don't care. So it's pause at the top, inhale, and exhale. On your inhale, releasing the thighs. And on your exhale, slowly closing the thighs. Inhale, opening. And exhale, closing. Inhale. And exhale. Pausing at the top, but bring the feet mat width apart and release your hands down so that your fingertips graze the heels. Untuck the tail and lengthen the tailbone down towards the mat. So that flat bit at the base of the pelvis is pressing into the earth. So naturally your lower abdomen should start to engage this mula bandha, this energetic lift and lock. Pressing into all four corners of the feet, hands down by your side. 
and start to press into the feet, lifting the hips halfway, lengthen the tailbone like we did on the floor and squeeze into glutes. So gently like tap them and just make sure that they're, they're working it on. You should be able to feel them. You're your own best teacher and really engaging downward into the big toe mound. This is gonna keep your knees tracking forward. Our glutes are still quite powerful, so if we let them, their knees are gonna splay open and we're gonna miss where we're trying to target. So big toe mound grounding, heels down. And then lower halfway. Lift, lengthen, squeeze, and then lower halfway. And we're gonna start again to connect breath with movement. So on the exhale, lift, inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, lift, lower halfway. As best you can, your breath um, ultimately just wants to be smooth. And we're gonna do 30 pulses with the length in it and the squeeze. So 30, 29, 28, really squeezing, grounding down into the feet. Keep going. Last 20. Soften the hinge of the jaw, soften the eyes. Remember to stay connected and grounded. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the vertebrae one at a time, rolling your spine down. Gently windshield wiper the knees side to side. Coming back to center. This time bringing your right foot more in towards the midline. Left knee can be bent, and you're gonna do the same thing, lift, lengthen, and squeeze your glutes with one leg. This is quite a bit more challenging, especially if you've never done it before. So we're gonna do 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, option to straighten the leg if you'd like. Last 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, best you can lift and squeeze, lengthen forward, 4, 3, 2, 1, Whoo! release, right away switching sides, left leg, foot grounds down into the middle, lift, lengthen, squeeze, gain that awareness, and just do the best you can for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. If you want, straighten the leg. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release all the way down. Center for 20 more. Lift, lengthen, squeeze. 20. 19, 18. Breathing. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause lifted. I know this is challenging. You got this. So we're going to stay lifted, ground into the big toe mound. Remember, lengthen the tail. An isometrical movement, so drawing the heels and dragging them in towards the shoulders without actually moving them. So we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. If you're feeling any pain in the low back, just take it easy. You can do windshield wipers from side to side. And then setting back up. This time we're gonna toe heel the feet a little bit further away from us. Lift, lengthen, squeeze, drawing the heels towards your shoulders, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Release one vertebrae at a time, windshield wiper. So this is going to really activate the hamstrings, which you should feel by now. Toe heel walking the feet out a little bit more. Lift, lengthen, squeeze, and drag in. I feel like I feel this so much. And when I progressed into my handstands, working on my glutes and hamstrings was really um, a huge blind spot for me. So I focus a lot on my hamstrings and glutes um, 
to be able to progress, to be able to be able to control my lower extremities a bit more. Lower down, and we're gonna do one more. So option to walk for walk further or walk closer. Um, just honoring where you are right now, okay? So lift, lengthen, squeeze, holding for five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Bring the soles of the feet to the ground and everyone rock windshield wiper to the right. And then engaging your left glute, pressing your left hip forward, starting to feel and open up through your left hamstring muscle group. Then coming back to center, rolling over onto the left side. Again, squeezing the right, glute, right glute, pressing the pelvis forward. Nice work. Coming back to center. Option to roll forward and back or onto one side. However you'd like to make your way into your cat. Cat cow position. So wrists underneath the shoulders. I'm actually do a little wrist warm up. So we'll bring the tips of the fingers towards the knees. And then tuck the toes, gently shifting back. You can lift the palms off the earth and then rolling back forward. Again. And back to center. Rolling at the right wrist and the left. So bring the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna gently cat cow, so dropping the low belly, rolling the shoulder blades onto the back, arching. And as you exhale, rounding at the spine, navel towards the spine. Take a few of these at your own pace. And then coming back to center, gently protracting the shoulder, so pressing the floor away from you to feel this buoyancy and lift up through the arms. Low ribs draw in, so we're creating stability through our core. Gaze can be just a few feet in front of you, so we're keeping your neck long. We're not arching and cranking the neck back. So feel this long line from the crown of the head all the way to the hips. Tuck Tap your low belly, make sure it's on, low ribs in. Bring your left hand to the low back and just press into your hand that's on your back. Release. And we wanna maintain that stability as we take the right leg towards the back of the room. Engage your right glute, so really firing up the entire right leg. And remember what we said about the glutes being so active, if we let them, they'll probably splay outwards in that external rotation. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus more on a little bit of internal rotation and our leg's actually gonna maintain straight, even though it feels like it's curling inwards. So squeeze and fire up the right leg and lift about a foot or a few centimeters off the earth and then draw the low ribs in. So your foot will probably lower a bit more and that is so fine. Really lengthening and squeezing out the right leg. Release right knee down, left leg extends back, firing up your left glute, lift a few centimeters off the earth, flexing in plantar or dorsiflexion in your left foot. Again, bringing in that slight internal rotation, really firing up through the left glute, the hamstring, the quad, and then tucking the lower ribs in so that you're maintaining a neutral pelvis. Release. Now we're gonna bring the arms into the mix. Core strong and integrated, right leg back, left arm forward. Knee to nose gently rounding inward, and then extending. Rounding inward, long spine, low ribs in, Gentle internal rotation. One, two, exhale in, inhale, extend. Exhale in, inhale, extend. Release and lower, switch sides right away. Right arm forward, left leg back. 
Internal rotation, firing up your left glute, reaching your right fingertips forward. Exhale, curl in, inhale, lengthen. Really pressing into the left hand. Exhale, inhale, extend. Three more. Neutral pelvis, lengthen the back of the neck. Last one, curling inward and then extend. Release all fours to the ground. Gently roll out, looking towards your left hip and then looking towards your right hip. Coming back to neutral, this time we're going to bend the right knee so that there's a 90 degree, 90 degree bend. And like we did at the beginning of class, you're gonna pretend that there is a weight on the top of the right foot. So keeping that dorsiflexion in your foot and we're gonna pulse upwards, but slow and controlled, trying to keep the lower ribs in. We're gonna do 10, nine. Remember, keep up with it in the lower and on the raise. So both ones up or down having equal effort. Last five, four, three. Bringing your left hip in if it's splaying out, two. Last one. Release, switch sides right away. Left foot flex, lower ribs in, weight on the top of the foot. Pressing for 10, nine, eight. Remember keeping that right outer hip in no sinking off too much to the side. We have last five, four, three, two, one. Release down. And then this time we're going to come onto our forearms, keeping the hips lifted. And then we're gonna bring our left fingertips up. Extend the right leg back. And we're gonna cross the right leg over on a diagonal to the left. So hopefully this you can see in the video, but we're gonna still keep the pelvis neutral, but we're gonna be pulsing from the glute across body. So this engagement of the right glute and hamstrings for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch sides, left forearm down, right fingertips up, extending the left leg back, flexing out the heel, lift, and then squeezing across body from the glute and the left hamstring for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, low ribs engaged, four, three, two, one. Release down. And then coming again on to our back body for the final stretch. And guess what we are doing again? Oops, my tag is hanging out. All right. So heels, mat width apart, knees forward, ground down into the big toe mound, lift, lengthen, squeeze. And we're gonna do 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Making every movement count, go slower as quick as you need to. We're last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower right away, right foot in, left leg raises for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, really grounding down, lift and lengthen as much as you can. Last three, two, one. Left leg switching sides for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, draw the knees in towards your chest and rocking side to side. 
Release the left foot to the floor and cross the right ankle over the left knee or left thigh and start to flex the right foot. And we do this to protect the knee from twisting. The knee is a hinge joint, so it has minimal ability to rotate and twist and we wanna keep it that way. So you can give yourself a gentle assist by using your right hand and to gently press open the right thigh. Or if you want to bring this more into your glutes, you can start to draw this structure in towards you, grabbing hold of either behind the left thigh, interlacing your fingers, and very gently drawing it towards you. We seem to be sensation seekers, so you don't always want to just reach for the most intense sensation. Give your body time to adjust. So at that moment when you meet sensation, taking more of an explorative approach and then when you're ready to deepen, then you can interlace behind, in front of the shin. And start to feel your body heavy. Releasing the left foot, right ankle, and switching sides. So left ankle crosses the right thigh or knee. Just seeing how this side differs from the last. You can use your hand as assist like we did, opening up the left thigh, interlacing behind the hamstrings, remembering to flex your foot. Soften the brows, soften the eyes. Option to grab in front of the frit, the shin. And this is the biggest challenge sometimes is listening to actually where you are. If you're feeling too much, learning to actually just back, back off and honor exactly where you are. I always do this meditation once in a while and it's a it's an age meditation so you just bring in like your age and just meditating on becoming real with yourself with exactly where you are but you can bring this uh, this into your daily life and into your yoga practice so just asking yourself like where where actually am I like where am I today because it's changing on a daily basis some days you're more flexible some days you're more stronger than others So where are you today? And meet yourself there. Releasing that entire structure. Brat drawing both knees in towards you. Lengthening out the left leg. You can have a bend in it or it can be straight. How did I get so far back? Oh my God. Okay, lengthening out through the left leg. You can have a micro bend. And then bringing the right thigh over across to the left. You can bring your right arm into cactus, out long. Totally up to you. And focusing on this softening quality, the descend. You know, we built up all the, the yang stimulation and now we're winding down into more the yin, the parasympathetic nervous system. Even equal, if not more attention to the rest and the restore. Coming back to center, draw your left knee in towards you switching sides so right leg extends out long and left knee draws across your body towards the right side I hear a puppy coming oh hello this is it <laughs> good timing babe oh sorry guys lay down
my god. Oh my gosh. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked out great. Um, whenever you're ready, rolling up to a gentle seated position. Um, or laying down in Shavasana and just take a few cleansing breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Softening wherever you are. I think whisper stole the show. Okay, so if you didn't don't like doing booty exercises, you can do it for the the cute puppy. Lay down. Come here, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Lay down. And just breathe in through the nose. Exhale, soften. Bringing your hands to heart center. Thank you guys for practicing with me today. Bringing on the booty burn and booty fire. When you're ready, bowing your head to heart center. Namaste. Namaste, whisper. She just went for a little walk, so she's stoked. Um, thank you guys.